Welcome back to Let's Play Clive Barker's Undying. I'm Burning Dog Face. And that's a key. An energy key. I need it to open a lock I found earlier. And wouldn't you know it, there's a great big door in the Now, there's some kind of puzzle here, but I don't know how to get it going. So let's see. Once I get this lozenge wrapper done, uh, this one's all torn up. Let's hear your battle cry. They may kick our ass, but they'll never kick our freedom. How's that? So here's the gate over here. Locked. Hmm. I hadn't heard anything. So I turned this, and water started pouring into this pan and dribbling down to the bowl without filling up. Hey! All right, now what? It just occurred to me that lightning can start fires, yes, but one of my uh, spells actually is fiery. No. And just because I said I was going to. In fairness, I didn't think it was going to work. <laughs> and then the door closed, and Patrick was stuck for all time. Failing that, I was going to try and use the Gelzabar stone to, uh, shove the stuck lever. Okay. Just checking. It's like a concierge. Except I'm pointing a gun. Uh, would Monsieur like a fine vintage wine? Let's get a competent weapon out. I want you to use one of these. Those are, you know, just fire, not explosions. Okay, keep this handy for close and. Quiet. Shut up, room. Oh, I got it into the wall behind. Oh, it's the sound of the fire. Oh, yeah. I don't know why I did that. Ooh. Maybe I'll 
do make that noise. I had no idea there were different noises for different surfaces. I guess I only ever tried it on stone. I tried it on soil. If I ever make it back to Earth. Oh, okay, now this is happening. Stargate? Why is haste out? Alright. Don't want anything to do with that. Oh, yes I do. I'm insanely curious. And we all know it. Hmm. The obelisk is green, and that thing in there was purple. This one is red! You need an ancient artifact. Well, shit, I'm fresh out of those. This is some kind of horrible ritual, isn't it? again with yellowy green. No, I guess it is just green. Fine! Maybe that thing's green because I have to start with the green one? But not that I have any ancient artifacts to speak of. Alright, fine. Blood. I need my blood. It is a good thing I upgraded this thing. Why are they not dying? Okay, this isn't working. Maybe they're only, uh, weak against magic. Second thought... Um... Oh, no, I do need that one. I just need the gun out to use it. Hello! 
fucking pop like balloons and you dispel them. They cause splash damage when they die. There's that damn symbol again. Uh, Virago background. Great as I am, even I must admit to envying them. The Virago. The faceless cloaks that gracefully traverse the sky. Though somewhat novice, their summoning power is commendable, and apparently their primary defense their true strength seems to manifest when they are in groups, as I've witnessed single Virago flee from what would seem to be even tame, defenseless creatures. Perhaps I most appreciate their fierceness. Even when cornered by prey, they simply refuse to submit and throw themselves at the enemy in what can only be in what I can only describe as a suicidal storm. Perchance I give them too much credit, and they are mere cowards. What sport would it be to find out how many of these runners I could frighten into taking their own life? Hmm. I now laugh as I ink these words, for I've already forgotten why someone like myself would envy them. The creatures of Onero seem to build upon their magical power from the realm itself. However, I have found that magic can combat magic, and that the creatures of Onero seem to have a difficult time in combating even the most elemental magical attacks. These Virago, these cowards at a child's grasp of magic, are so weak when alone they instinctively turn to suicide. Ah, uh, I've grown soft over the years. I think I shall venture up. I think I shall venture up the Oracle and see what attracts them there. Otto Kaisinger. Sorry about that. I needed to clear my throat. That is a lot of blood. You know what? Fuck it. I don't even know if that is blood or not. This is a weird universe. For all I know, that's pure liquid ham. Maybe that's what water looks like before it's distilled in this universe. You're shitting me. What the fuck am I meant to do? Why did I kill that guy? Okay, okay, logically it's so I could get up here. Oh fuck. Well, 
like you to imagine how profoundly covered in blood Patrick Galloway is right now. Okay. That's kind of what I thought was going to happen in the, uh, the bit with the sextant, where I just go down into the tunnel and it would suddenly no longer be liquid in there. Oh no, I did reload. starting to take damage. I was, wonder, I was starting to wonder if it could actually happen in this game. Bum, 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 bum. You know what? Yeah. Fuck it. And then let's get the amplifier I just found out. And... Skull Storm. Item. Okay, that's good to know. They don't work underwater at all. So they're pure magical energy, and when I dispel them... Oh, God! The Oracle, I presume. Oh man, it's been a while. AIDS Melon! What the hell? Oh, I guess this is where I came in. Man! Oh, hey, look at that. First air. Grotesque. Oh, I get it. You're supposed to do this first. That's why I took damage. Oh, wait. I'm gone down here. Oh, that's just where I came in, isn't it? Fuck. Yeah, okay. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be anything of interest here, so... Oh. 
shit. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you next time on Let's Play Clive Barker's Undying. When we get back to where I left off and kill those Viragos. Later. <laughs>